Hey everybody, Diane Haggerty, Grassroots Taxes. Today we're gonna to talk about the stock market and how do you pay your taxes if you made money in stocks. So 2021 was the year of GameStop. Oh yeah, everybody made all kinds of money on GameStop and then everybody was looking for the next winner. A lot of newbies in the stock market, so let's go over what you need to do to pay your taxes if you made money in stocks. So first of all, how are you taxed? Well, if you are investing through a brokerage, like, I don't know, Robinhood or Edward Jones or any brokerage, uh, you will be sent, besides your annual statement, you will get another statement that's called a 1099B, B as in boy. Uh, a 1099B is the proceeds from the sale of stock. And it will show you most of the time what your basis is, what to report, and you just take those numbers and put it right on form 8949 in your tax software or on your tax forms, and that will help you figure out your gains. You do not pay taxes on the amount of the sale, like if you sold stock and it was $3,000. No, you subtract your basis, what you paid for that stock. You only pay tax on the gains that's why it's called capital gains tax. Okay, so that's the next part. How much is capital gains tax? Most of the time you say that and people are like, oh no, capital gains tax. Okay, no, capital gains tax is usually lower than your regular tax rate, not higher. It's not on top of your taxes. It's money that's separated out. It's like, here's your income from your jobs and stuff. Your income from capital gains is in a different pile and taxed at a lower rate. So capital gains tax isn't bad, it's actually less. Okay, so how much is capital gains tax? If you made under $50,000, or if you're married and made under $100,000, there's a good chance that your long-term capital gains rate is going to be zero. Not even kidding. Um, if you are single and made under 50, there's a good chance that your long-term capital gains are gonna be zero. Now, what's a long-term capital gain? That means you bought it, held it for over a year. If you're new to the stock market in 2021, you obviously haven't held your stocks for a year yet. So what then? That's short-term capital gains. They're taxed at the same rate as the rest of your money, which if you made under 50,000 single, under 100,000 married, is 12%. You also pay state income tax on this. I don't have the rates for all 50 states, but you will, if your state has income tax, you will pay state income tax on that as well. So how do you get the information? They will send it to you before the end of January. I hope they are required to send it to you. Sometimes they send you a second one and say it's corrected. I'd hold off, don't file your taxes till say the end of February, and make sure that you have final numbers and that they are checked as final. Um, how much did you really make? You know, I really have to talk about this because a lot of times people look at their gains, and their capital gains is how much they make, and they forget to look at the amount they paid in fees. Uh, really look hard at how much you paid in fees on these forms, they have to report it to you. It's not a tax number. I've had people day trade. Oh, and it's like, oh, I made all this money in capital gains. I made so much money. Oh, I was like, yeah, man, but you paid $4,000 in fees. So did you really make any money at all? Uh, the short term, quick trades, day to day trades, five minute trades, you know, when things are skyrocketing, you know, you don't always make a whole lot of money because they charge you a fee every time you make a trade. The brokerage charges you a fee every time you make a trade. In addition, you know, and they take that out. So you really need to look and see how much money did you really make and was it really profitable? How much did you make per hour sitting and investing at your desk before you continue to do this? So if you're good at it, that's great. If you're not good at it, eh, maybe do something else as a hobby because it's not always very profitable. Anyway, that's all I've got to say on capital gains tax. I am going to make another video that's going to be released very soon that's going to be about how the stock market really works, and I want you to watch that one too. Okay? So, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, I'll see you in 2022. Have a great New Year.